Okay guys, so I'm filming another get ready with me today because you guys were so nice in the comments of my last get ready with me. It just made me feel so good that you guys really loved the, the whole kind of casual vibe. And to be honest, I like it too because it kind of just feels like I'm sitting down. Sorry, I just want to make sure I don't have anything on my teeth. I'm sitting down with my friends and I'm just like... That sounds really lame, but you know what I mean. It feels very like I'm just talking to my friends while I'm doing my makeup. So I'm so glad that you guys liked it. Obviously, I'll still do tutorials, but I do like these get ready with me's as well. So today I'm going to do a look that it's my my clubbing makeup. The one that I did in that video, that look is literally for me the everything. Like this is my my evening look. It is my my dinner, my birthday, Valentine's Day, whatever. Like what? Like it's literally everything, even a wedding. Like I feel like... Like I said, I know when you're getting married, but I would wear that look on my wedding day, the one that I'm going to do in this video, just because I feel like me, I feel like it suits me, I feel like it suits everyone, to be honest, and I just really love it, and I feel comfortable, and I feel like I look my best when I wear this look. So that's just a little bit about the look that I'm doing, because I'm not obviously going to be doing like a tutorial format. So I always start with my skin. I might actually just kind of clip my hair back, maybe. So yeah, I always start with my skin. The primer that I'm just going to use is the J1 Jelly Pack because it's weird and I like it. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm so glad that you guys did really like that video. And people in my life as well were kind of like, you were so like, you're so real when you talk on in that. And I kind of wanted to be like, well, why wouldn't, why wouldn't I be real? Because I would prefer, like I said, I want you guys to get to know me, but I would prefer for you guys to form your opinion on me once you know who I am as a person and if you hate me then that's fine like you can dislike my video and you can leave that's fine but if like I would prefer for you to at least get like know me as a person like I don't want to be fake I just want to try and be as authentic as I can and if you like me you like me and that's amazing and if you don't then you don't <laughs> okay so for foundation I'm just mixing L'Oreal True Match with the L'Oreal Infallible yeah so I was with my friend the other day and we kind of have both like We've both been through similar stuff, to be honest, and I think we've now both reached similar points in our life where we just kind of, we don't want to have any bullshit anymore, if that makes any sense, like, and we're talking about friends in particular, and I kind of, I think the same thing, like, I don't want this year, 2018, I want this to be an incredible year for me, and I actually think that it's going to be because I've got a different mindset than I have had in any other year of my life, like, I feel really, um... Like, this year I just want to work on myself. Like, I want to... This sounds so... Again, this kind of does sound a little bit lame, but just take it with a grain of salt. I'm not trying to be, like, preaching or anything like that. But I really want to learn this year to completely and totally and genuinely, like, love myself. I've always been self-conscious or embarrassed really easily or, like, not... I don't love myself fully. I'm not fully confident. I don't want to be like that anymore. I want to be confident and love myself in a non-cocky way, obviously. But I just kind of like, I've reached this point where I don't want to waste this little time that I have on earth just being self-conscious and not doing things that I could be doing that my personality and myself is holding me back from. I just want to go out there and just, and just do it. And my friend said the exact same thing. Like she's in the exact same place where she's just working on herself and self-love and not looking for validation from anyone. And I'm in the exact same place. Like I feel like we've got a similar kind of mindset, which is really nice to have because you... I don't know, it's, it was nice to talk to somebody that is on the same sort of level as you, as in, like, where your head is at. Because, I don't know, a lot of my friends just go out and they just, like, party all the time, which, again, that's fine. Like, that's a lot of people until they turn maybe 20 or 21. That's what they do. But for me, it was a little six-month period, and then it was like, no, this is not what I want to do anymore. And I got my head screwed on. But this year in particular, like, end of last year, this year... I've really kind of like, I'm in a different space and I really just want to work on myself. I don't care about anything else. And we were both saying the same thing as well, that I don't want to have fake relationships in my life anymore. Like I definitely, you know, those friends that you have in life that they're just kind of there and they're, they're not real friends. They're just kind of like fake friends, faux friends, you might say. And I've, I've got a lot of them, but I, I find that I've only got a few really close friends that I just... Uh, only a few though like and we both said the same thing I know I keep saying we both but we kind of just had this this really 
intense conversation and we were we, we're very similar in what we think and stuff I think it's really hard to find a best friend not to even find one just to have a best friend I think that's super rare so if you have a best friend and you're watching this video I would take that really like consider yourself really lucky because not a lot of people can say that they have that one person in their life that they can literally just cry and cry in their lap or or just experience like just everything and anything with, whether that be your partner, your romantic partner, or um, your uh, sister or whatever. A lot of people don't have that, and I definitely don't have that. I don't have that one person, except for my mum, but <laughs> I'm talking about like a friend. Um, but yeah, I think it's something that is really rare. For instance, Desi and Katie, I'm sure if you're watching my video, you know who they are. Their, their friendship is literally so, like when I watch some of their, their vlogs and stuff together, it's such like a heartwarming feeling to watch them two together because they're just so, they just, they just, they're everything. Like together, they're just like, I couldn't imagine either of them being best friends with anyone else. Like, do you know what I mean? So I think it's really lucky to find like, like I said, like I think it's really, you know, it's special to, if you have a best friend. I'd consider that super special. This year for me is just going to be all about me working on myself, working on my career um, and I'm excited, like I'm super excited for this year and I actually really like spending time alone. I don't know if you guys are, are like that. I know um, my star sign is somebody that, like a Cancer, they really do like to spend their time alone like they do like I need my time alone when I'm I find like this is super weird but when I'm with someone for a certain amount of time I almost feel like I need a break <laughs> like I know that sounds terrible but sometimes I I'm with someone for for what let's just say two days or a day and I, I need my time away I need to just like get away to be alone I'm super funny like that like I do really love having alone time so that's just something about me. Like I, I love being around people, but me personally, I actually prefer to have my alone time because my brain like works 5,000 miles an hour. It's crazy. And look at how brown my shoulders are getting guys from walking um, and like jogging in the sun, like along the coast. But it's so funny because like, like none of my other body parts are like this brown. It's like just my shoulders. So I'm getting this really weird uneven tan, but you know. Whatever. I've been reading as well so much about that whole, um, that whole, like, law of attraction. And I 100%, like, I 100% believe in that sort of stuff. Like, I really do. And I actually, I think it's so, it's very, very, very accurate. Like, what you put out into the world is what you're going to attract and what you're going to bring back. So, that's why I'm trying to be, like, the best, most positive version of myself. Because I have, I am very shy and I am, and I don't want to be shy. And I was watching, I was actually looking at this girl on Instagram. I follow, I followed her for ages. She's absolutely stunning. And she's a cancer as well. And she said, she said something on her story, her Instagram story of this year is the year that I want to come out of my shell more. And it's such a cancer thing to be so shy and to be like so like withdrawn. You can sometimes come across as really rude, but you're not, you're just really shy. So I don't want to be like that anymore. And I have like, wait, I'll just show you. I have this book. <clears throat> I just got it from typo, like start of the year and it's basically just got so many like just just things that I think about and ideas for my YouTube channel my dreams my goals what I want to personally achieve with myself because there was a lot of personal goals that I really want to get through this year which is one of them I will talk about is like to fully overcome my eating disorder um, and I think that I'm, I'm like getting there because like I feel really healthy at the moment I feel really healthy and happy and just like really good um, and that's something that was in my book like I really want to just fully overcome that and I don't want that to hold me back from anything in life anymore and I just want to achieve a, a lot and I and in there I said come out of my shell be a bit more bubbly be a bit more happy like as in in when I meet someone because I can tend to be really shy <laughs> so it's like long weekend at the moment guys like it's it was Australia Day yesterday and it's like they kind of like usually people continue the party like all weekend but I just like I don't know I'm just not I'm not really into all of that anymore that kind of sounds a bit like I don't know but I'm just not I'm not into that scene anymore of like I used to fucking love going out like I used to love it so much like too much and now like the thought of like going out every time I've been out recently which is not not a lot at all I kind of just want to go home <laughs> do you know what I mean and I don't know, I'm kind of kind of glad that I've got to this point in my life where I'm very content just kind of doing my own thing and living a very simplistic and kind of just like, 
working and very simple kind of life like that and I much prefer to have like encounters with people like social encounters with people like that are more casual like kind of just like either go to the beach or go for a walk or grab a coffee like I prefer that way of socializing rather than going out into like a giant club or a festival where everyone's drunk or on drugs or like that that's not really my thing anymore <laughs> um but yeah i used to love it and and um this me and this girl were saying the same thing like we both used to um because we met each other through that sort of scene but we've both changed so much now that we don't we're not really both into it oh my god do you guys want to hear something I actually like I don't want to keep mentioning boys because but I just find guys stories very funny and interesting because like come on they, they're interesting to listen to other people's experiences and stuff but I just have to talk about this one thing I'm not gonna go into it too much but basically I bumped into somebody that I went to primary school with like year year six and I saw him I can't remember where I saw him and we like exchanged numbers and stuff or and um added each other on Instagram, whatever, started just chatting, very basic, and then this guy, this guy, literally said to me, like, listen to this, listen to this, and tell me your opinion, tell me if you would have, like, if you agree with me here, goes to me, hey, like, I don't want to offend you or anything like that, like, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to offend you, but are you, would you be up for, like, a, you know, and I was like, I kind of put question marks and then he goes you know like a like a fling like a one night stand and I was like oh my god first of all that's extremely disrespectful and presumptuous of you and second of all bah <laughs> I was just like I was so offended I was offended I was like that's just totally disgusting and yeah but it just like I don't know the way that people I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to say that I've never done that because when I just turned 18, I made a few mistakes. I'm not going to say a lot because I didn't, but a few mistakes I made like that and I regret them now so badly. All under the influence of alcohol, but just they're in the past like, and I don't want to ever like go backwards. And I just think that you're allowed to make mistakes and stuff like that. I didn't, like I said, wasn't a lot, but like I regret them now. But like this person just pissed me off. Like I was like, that is extremely disrespectful, rude, very presumptuous, bye. Like, I was just so pissed off by it and I don't ever, that, that's not my thing. I would prefer to make a genuine connection with somebody. Oh my God, my hair looks so frizzy. I would prefer to make a genuine connection with somebody than, you know, do all that sort of stuff because it's so much better and it's so much, it's just, it's just, yeah, I don't know. It's just not my thing to just fling, like what the hell? And he wasn't even subtle about it. Like, I was just like, nah, this is ridiculous. So, I don't know, that was something that happened to me last week. And I was just like, nah, I'm not, I'm not here for that. I'm going to go ahead and set this concealer before it creases. I actually need to put a little bit on my chin and forehead too. This colour is so nice. Oh, oh, it was so exciting. These were on sale. Uh, L'Oreal, Maybelline, a few other things were like 30% off in Priceline. And they're, uh, in Priceline, they're literally never on sale and also I've realized that these infallibles have gone so expensive like every time I see them they're around $30 I'm like what the fuck like that's that's like almost high-end price like what so these are getting really expensive so if you can find them these are on sale and price line at the moment for 30% off uh, all of L'Oreal which is crazy good I'm so glad that you guys like um, my get ready with me's because they're honestly so fun like like I said at the beginning they're literally like you're just kind of sitting down and I'm talking to my friends and I'm kind of like my my um my mom and her friend said like are you worried like are you, you should be a little bit cautious that these people that I'm talking about don't watch my videos and first of all I wouldn't talk about them if I knew that they watched my videos and second of all um I'm an open book like I am literally an open book and I don't think I've said anything I don't want to offend anyone but I want to be honest with you guys, I want to kind of tell you about my life and stuff like that because I, I always love watching people's life when they're really authentic about it and they're really honest, like I can't, I can't watch the people that just act on camera because it's so easy to act on camera, it's so easy to be like, hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me and I, like it's so easy to be like that but it, it's a lot harder because you're like probably judged a lot harder when you're more yourself but honestly I don't give a shit like <laughs> make up your mind about me and then if you want to stay you can stay and if you want to go you can go like 
that's just how I am like take it or leave it <laughs> and I've realized that about myself like I really like I said I'm not gonna I'm gonna be unapol <laughs> unap <laughs> unapologetic wait <laughs> unapologetically my is that it yeah I think it is myself because I actually there was a few times where I've questioned myself and I've gone like especially like I will kind of I know it's terrible but like with like guys and stuff like the not guys the guy in my last get ready with me that I was talking about if you haven't seen that go and watch it but I kind of questioned myself I was like like why didn't it work is it me and I started to think like is there something wrong with me is it my personality is it me like is there something that's like not likable about me and I started to really question that and then I asked my mom and I asked a few of my friends and like not a few of my friends like a close friend of mine and I was kind of just like talking about it I was like I don't know if it's like me and they were like Demi Demi shut up like no it's not and I do have to realize that that sometimes people don't click sometimes people don't gel and vibe and all that sort of stuff but yeah sometimes I can doubt myself and I can be like there's something wrong with me if you know what I mean but don't be like that that's coming from me do not be like that otherwise you will put yourself into a really bad space okay so I'm gonna go ahead and set my entire face with the RCMA no color powder now I'm just gonna quickly go ahead the tutorial is basically the clubbing tutorial so I'm kind of just gonna fly through it I mainly just use this palette this is the only palette that I use it's the Vizier palette I adore it I actually cannot believe it. it's like Australia Day weekend and I have been doing nothing. No drinking, no partying, nothing. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but Australians are probably the most ratchet, like ratchet, feral party animals that there are in the entire world. Australians can take the cake for that. <laughs> for sure. I've seen some crazy things in my time here in Perth. But I can't wait to move from here, like I said, I cannot wait. Like, I know everyone's like, I know everyone kind of makes like, you know, the thing about LA is like, oh, when you get there, like, you're going to have to claw your way to the top. Like, I don't, I just want to go there because I just feel a connection to LA and New York. Like, I just feel that, like, I, I'm being pulled there and I, and I want to go. Um, especially like where I live here in Perth. Everything is so small and I'm going to say like something but it's not directed at anyone in particular but everyone here in Perth, everyone thinks that they're somebody like whether you have 100 followers on Instagram or 10,000 whatever, everyone thinks that they're somebody and I think it's because Perth is so small that when you reach a certain point, let's just say 5,000 followers, they feel, I don't know, famous or entitled, I think entitled is the right word and they get a huge ego and I've heard so many stories about girls in particular um, that are just so just awful people. It's coming across shady, it's not supposed to be directed at anyone in particular but I don't know, I think that, I've said this before, but you can become like the most successful, famous, everything sort of person, like fucking Post Malone. He is like the coolest person that I've seen in my entire life. I was literally just listening to his new song, it's with um is it me Migos? I don't I don't know, but it's called um fuck, what is it called? It's like the the best song and it's called I love it. I love everything by Post Malone. It's called Notice Me. Um and it's so good you guys, it's so freaking good. But he is like the coolest he's a cancer by the way. Like literally I'm in love with him, but he is a cancer and he he just seems like the coolest, most genuine, down to earth guy that I've ever seen in my entire life. Like with all of that fame and like everything, he, like how, he's just amazing. Like he's so, he's just so cool. Like, you know those things that people say, like if you could have dinner with anyone, like any celebrities dead or alive, mine would be literally Post Malone, Marilyn Monroe. I'm trying to think, but Post Malone is 100% somebody that I would want to have be on my dinner table, 100%. I would like to have dinner with Leonardo DiCaprio, but maybe just like one on one. You know what I'm saying? I love Leonardo DiCaprio. He's so beautiful. Okay, so is that we're looking we're looking a little blended, a little blend. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and literally all I do. There's like four eyeshadows involved in this look. I just mix these two these two browns here together. 
and I just start to kind of deepen the outer corner, kind of make a little bit of a shape going on. It's about it. Also, let me know, guys, if you want, because I keep asking you, um, but I still don't know. Do you want me to vlog? Like, do you want me to do just like a, a weekly compilation or compilation, however you want to say it, of like my week into shoved into one vlog and I upload it on like a Sunday or something? Because I, I definitely have like a plan for my channel, um, but I'm definitely going to do it around June, I think. Like, I know it's kind of weird, like I'm like not saying anything, but it's just because it's an idea that I think is really cool and I don't maybe, like I know nobody hardly watches me, but I just don't want it to, you know, it's kind of something that I thought about, like it popped into my head of a night because I'm constantly thinking about my channel, like I'm constantly thinking about things to make my channel different and cool and I don't know, just I don't want to have a channel like everyone else, like, which it might be like everyone else, you might think that my channel is very generic and whatever, but I'm trying to be as creative as I can and come up with really cool things and try to expand myself because I really like, I love learning about things, like I only, st like I said, I started off with makeup and then I wanted to learn about fragrance and then I wanted to learn about skincare and I started to like research all about these different things. The final eyeshadow that I use, that I use is MAC Nylon, of course. Of course I always use this, I over highlight the inner corners of my eye and also my brow bone. Just looks so good, like I constantly, guys, like literally I wouldn't say this if I didn't mean, I constantly get people going, what is in your inner corner? Like. What is that eyeshadow? You have to sacrifice stuff if you want other stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like with me when I did ballet, I sacrificed a lot of things just to do ballet because it's so uh, like strenuous on your body and you have to get your sleep and you have to just, you have to do a lot. You have to be healthy. You have to, I don't know, just do so much. And like, you have to sacrifice a lot. And um, I, I learned that from ballet, that's one thing that it really taught me, is that you dedication, determination and sacrifice. And I think I now, like I still apply that to my, to my life now. And I don't do a lot of things that are fun, like now. Like I don't party or anything like that or drink a lot or anything like that just because I, I want my life to be as good as it can be and I'm still young I'm, I'm turning 20 in June which is kind of fucking scary to say like I'm really scared whenever like my mom like came to my room the other day she was like Demi you're 20 in June and I was like I know like I know you guys are looking at me like you're probably thinking I'm so young and I am so young I am but that just sounds scary to me because I'm 20 in June <laughs> what anyway so like I just want my little life on this earth I want to I want people to remember me. That's that's basically where I'm going with this. I want to be remembered and I want to leave my mark on this earth and not just kind of uh, wander through life, which there's nothing wrong with that. But I want to make something of my life. I always have, ever since I was little, I wanted to be like famous when I was little. I wanted to, I've always wanted uh, that when I was younger. Like that was like my thing. I was like, I want to be famous. I want to be an actress. I've always wanted to do acting too. I think that's the thing that a lot of people that start YouTube, a lot of them want to do acting as well. And that's something that's so funny because I'm exactly the same. Like I've always wanted to be in a movie and an actor. I'm constantly like, I've always, ever since I was like younger, I've, I love, I love acting and I've always loved to play roles with dancing and I've always found it super easy. So that's something that I've always wanted to do. Maybe in the Maybe in the future. There's so much that I want to do in life, but, you know, I have, like I said, I'm the sort of person, like, I have huge dreams where people probably just laugh and kind of think that they won't come true, but I'm going to try. I feel like this uh, Get Ready With Me has been a little bit preachy, but I don't, you guys know I'm not like that. <laughs> I don't mean it like that. Okay, so quickly blend that. So I'm quickly going to go ahead and coat my lashes and then I got some new lashes from uh, Priceline. I'm going to show you guys. These ones look really, like these ones look nice. Like these are like the Luxe Eye Law lashes and they look so nice. Like they're giving me House of Lashes iconic vibes and not not as, um, as dense, but they're giving me the vibes and I'm so excited to put these on. And I also like, do you guys know this brand? Hold please. This brand, um... Oh, hold on, not the right ones. Yeah, kiss lashes. Holy shit! Like holy, holy. These are incredible. This brand, Kiss. I know you've probably already heard of it, but 
I only discovered it like a few weeks ago and it blew my freaking socks off. Like these ones especially, I got the last pair that was in price on that. That was sold out of everything so everyone must be clicking onto it. They are freaking incredible. I tried to find them online as well that delivered to Australia and I couldn't find anything. Like I couldn't find them that a place that delivered to Australia which is so sad because these lashes are so freaking amazing and the quality and everything like I'm just they blew my socks off but I'm going to save those ones for maybe something a bit more dramatic I'm going to use these Eyelore ones today um and these are really pretty I'm really excited to try these I'm gonna go ahead and bronze with the matte Kevlin pressed powder in dark and always go back into your hairline I know it's kind of a little bit cringe but just go trust me like actually bronze into your hairline and it makes the biggest difference otherwise you'll have like I don't know just a weird weird okay I've been actually as well and it's just like it's a little bit embarrassing for me but I've been filling in my hairline because like my hair is like very thin and I tend to have um like little gaps where you, it looks like I don't have any hair like or I'm going bald or something so I've been filling like where I fill in my eyebrows with this powder here I've been filling in my hair it's actually makes me feel so much more confident actually especially when I go out like I'll just fill it in I've got it filled in today so it looks like pretty good but that's just a little bit of a, advice if you have kind of thin hair because ever since like what I've been through and stuff, my hair went really, really, really thin. It used to like fall out all the time, but um, it never just like got back to its original thickness. But I just kind of fill in my hairline to fake it, I guess. God, my camera just died. Okay, I think we're okay. Cause I've been sitting in here just like taking my time, my sweet ass time, talking to the camera like it's a diary, which is just so me. Anyway. Okay, so I'm quickly gonna do a little bit of contouring just with the Kevin Kwan powder. Okay, and then for blush, I'm going to use MAC Peaches. And then finally for highlight, I've pulled this one out recently and remembered how much I love it. The Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. It just looks so natural. It just looks so beautiful. And then I always, always, always go over with my beauty blender just to make sure that it doesn't look chunky and unblended. Always. Okay, so quickly I'm going to go ahead and apply Max Smolder just to my waterline. Okay, and then finally we have the lips. I'm going to quickly overdraw my lips with the NYX Lip Liner in Natural. If I sound rushed, it's because I have to film another video and it's really late and... <laughs> I just feel like this video has gone on forever. I've literally just been talking way too much. It's a it's a problem. Um, then I'm going to go over with Dose of Colour Sand and then over the top with Fortune Cookie NYX Butter Gloss. This is my favourite lip combination of all time. I always get complimented on my lips when I wear this because I think that the overdraw just looks so good when I do this combination that it almost looks like they're my, naturally my lips. So I love this lip combination. Get on it. Get on it. Okay, so I'm quickly going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so happy. I've said this a billion times in the video, but I'm so glad that you guys like my more kind of just sit down and talk to the camera like you guys are in front of me. I'm checking out of lip gloss on my teeth. Um, like you guys are just kind of my friends. So I love talking to you guys. I love these sort of videos. I'm going to keep doing them. If you guys want to know literally what my go-to glam for everything look is, it is this. Like this is my... Like I said, date, event, birthday, dinner, fancy event, casual event, party, like everything, Valentine's Day, like even though I'm not doing anything, but I'm just saying like this is literally my look. Like I just, I just feel this is me. Like this look just resonates with me because I just feel like it plays up with the eyes. You've got the juicy, glossy lips, but it looks 
like the most natural way to get full glam. So I absolutely love this look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this very casual kind of tutorial, get ready with me, whatever. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please follow me on Instagram. It's at Demi.Rolling and my Snapchat is Demi Rolling. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.